And now we must go somewhere else, my dear. Come. Come. Pardon me! Willie, what are you doing here? I knew you'd be here. I had to come after you. You're not safe here. Her friends, they know where she is. They're coming after you. You gotta get out of here. How would they know where to find her, Willie? Well, I don't know, but they found out where she is. They're coming here. They're on their way. How do you know that? Well, I heard. Please, Barnabas, we gotta get out of here. Willie. Hey, What did I tell you? They're here. Let's get out of here. Come with me, my dear. Come with me. Huh. Leave her, Barnabas. We haven't got time to waste. Come on. Burke, look, I, I recognize this. It's Maggie's. And she must be somewhere around here. Maggie! 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 Let's head off in this direction. Stay close to me. Maggie! Maggie! I'm getting closer. Leave her, Barnabas. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go where it's safe. Maggie, can you hear me? Come on. Take a look. Burke, shine your light over there. It's Maggie. Maggie. Is she? Oh, she's all right. She's only faint. Oh, she's coming out of it. anything? I remember going to bed and I had some bad dreams. I, next thing I remember is, is you standing over me. That's all I remember. Brooke, don't, don't let her talk anymore. Let, let's get her home. Yes. What is it? Look over there. Did you see something? No. Why? I thought I saw something moving. It looked like a figure of a man. I better go and check. You and Maggie be all right? Well, I'll be gone in a second. I guess so. You stay here for a moment. Stay close to Maggie. Be careful.
think I've heard him go. Quiet, you idiot. Thing. Uh, completely deserted. It must have been your imagination. Yeah, maybe. Here. And we better get out of here. Come on, Maggie. Uh, can you walk? I think so. Here, here. Let me carry you. Uh, come on, let's let's get going. have some explaining to do. How did he know where to find the girl? <laughs> I told you, Barnabas, I don't know. But you did know he was coming here, didn't you? Yeah. How? Well, well I, I, I told you, I overheard them talking. Where did that happen? Well, I, I went to the Evans cottage to give Mr. Evans your message, and they were talking about going to the graveyard. That's how I knew. No one would have known to come to the graveyard, Willie. No one told them except you. Well, I, didn't, I didn't tell them Barnabas, honestly. You're a bad liar, Willie. You told them. Oh, Barnabas, I you wouldn't do that. You must have told them. You must have betrayed me. No, I... Ah, uh, you shouldn't have done that, Willie. That means I'm going to have to punish you. I didn't do anything. I must teach you your lesson, Willie. You'll never betray me again. <laughs> Listen, Sam, I can't take this waiting. I think we'd better call for the state troopers. Go ahead. Hank! Darling. <clears throat> Tony, what's the matter? Where'd you find her? Here, I'll, I'll explain when I get her now. Come on, Sophie. Maggie. Maggie, look at me. Are you okay? I... Da Darling, what happened? Where did you go? She can't talk, Sam. Let me, let me take her into her room. No, don't touch me! Maggie, what is it? Don, darling, what's the matter? What's wrong? What's wrong? I can't, I can't breathe. I'm choking. Yeah, that handkerchief's too tight. I think I should take it off. No, no. Uh... Maggie, Maggie. She's passed out. Here, let me get this thing off. Burke. I see. See what? What is it? What's those marks? On her neck. Look at them. My name is Victoria Winters. An overwhelming force has taken possession of a young girl. Unseen, unsuspected, it withdraws the life from her. The telltale marks are a frightening indication of what this girl has been victim to. Burke and Vicky just left. He's taken her home. She's still pretty shaken. Thank God she was here to answer that phone. Never in a million years we thought to look in the cemetery for her. I just wish I knew what made her go there. Oh, why doesn't that doctor get here? Well, he'll be here as quickly as he can, sir. Look at her. She looks bad. I I've never seen her look so bad. The marks on her neck. What are they? Right. I don't know. I can't figure out what they are, how they got there. How did they get there, Joe? How did they get there? Come 
nuts, huh? I, I thought it was going to come in this room. What? What was it? And the dog howling out there. You heard it, didn't you? Yeah, sure I did. What's it doing? Always hanging around out here. Oh, listen, it's been heard all over town. It's just a dog. These doors were open. Why are they always open? Well, she probably wants some fresh air. You know, she must have gone out through those, those French windows. There it goes again. If I had a shotgun, I'd go after it. Sam, she's waking up. Why doesn't that horse and buggy doctor get here? He'll be here, Sam. Oh. Oh. Easy, Maggie. Easy, easy. Okay, Maggie. Everything's all right. You're safe. Your hand is <clears throat> cold. It's what? like ice. Why is it so cold? What happened to me, Pa? Oh, nothing. You uh, just got lost. I... Had a bad night here. Yeah. Bad night? Don't you remember? No, I, I remember going to sleep, that's all. Just went to sleep. Why don't you, don't you remember going out of the house? Out of the house? Where did I go? Well, you... Sam, it would be better not. Huh? What do you mean, better not? I want to know. I've got to know. Well, wait till you're more rested, dear. Tell me. Well, I... Oh, if I'd stayed here, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, it's my fault. Fault? What? Tell me. Please. Well, I, I allowed you to chase me out of the house. Chase you out? You, uh, you accused me of being a babys babysitter, don't you remember? I think I remember talking to you. You told me in no uncertain terms to scram, which I did, thinking you were going to get back into bed. And uh, instead of that, you uh, ran out through those windows. Don't you remember going through those windows? I'm not sure. Where did I, where did I go? Well, you, uh, you just kind of wandered around. Until Vicky and Burke found you. Vicky and Burke? I'm sure they brought you back here. Where? Where did they find me? Well, Maggie, that isn't important. Where did they find me? I'll call, I'll call Vicky and find out myself. They, they, they found you in the cemetery. Up in Eagles Hill. Cemetery? No. Yes. Have you any idea what you were doing there? No. Was I alone? What was I doing when they found me? Well, you were lying on the ground. You were unconscious. Was I alone? Yes. I think I can remember it being in the cemetery. I was in the cemetery. I remember Vicky and Bert standing over me. You mean it's coming back to you? Beginning to remember things. Well, that's a good sign. I remember Bert going after someone. That's right. He saw a shadow, but he couldn't find anyone. You uh, think someone was with you? No. No. Oh, I was oh. alone. What is it, Maggie? Oh, I'm so cold. I'm so cold. Colder than I've ever been in my life. How's the read, Doc? Five degrees below normal. Let's see what that pulse has to say. Give me your hand, Maggie. Come on, please. Your left hand. It's a cold hand. Well, uh, actually, I put all the blankets on there that I could. She was freezing, shaking like a leaf. I'm trying to keep the room warm. Do you have to do that? Yes, I do, young lady. 
Now, let me roll up your sleeve. So. All right. Now, that doesn't hurt too much, does it? No. I wish you wouldn't be so mistrustful of me, Maggie. All I want to do is make you well. Make me well? That's what I'm here for. Now, uh, how many of those pills that I left have you taken? I don't remember. Well, uh, actually, she didn't have too much of a chance to. That skin, the color's very gray. What's the matter, Maggie? Nothing. You don't mind if I take a little look in your eyes now, do you? Must you? You know I wouldn't bother you with things like this unless I thought I had to. Now the other one. You gotta relax, Maggie. You're all tensed up. Now you just tell me one thing. Who told you that you could get out of that bed? No one. You know, Maggie, you're one of those patients that doctors moan about at medical conventions. The kind that makes our work so much more troublesome. I didn't call you Dr. Woodard. No, I know you didn't. Your father did, and rightly, too. You're a very sick young woman. Now, Maggie, I'm going to ask you something. And I want you to think very hard before you answer me. As far as you know, have you ever walked in your sleep? No, I haven't. How about dreaming about sleepwalking? I can't remember what I dreamed. Well, you, you remember that dream you had the other night. Pop! <laughs> now, what dream was that? Well, she had a dream that upset her very much. She dreamed that she saw a coffin. And when it opened, she was inside it. Well, I don't pretend to be a dream analyst, but it seems I can see a possible connection. You dream about this coffin with you inside it. Tonight you take a walk for yourself and we discover you in a cemetery. It just seems more than likely there might be some related dream in which you were searching for that coffin. Please, please stop talking about Maggie, it. Maggie, I understand this is all very upsetting for you. Sam, I think we can safely assume that Maggie indeed did a little sleepwalking tonight and that that's how she got to that cemetery and not in any other way, huh? No. No! What's the matter, Maggie? Nothing. Let me see your throat. Maggie, how did you get these? I don't know. How did you happen to come by these wounds in your throat? I don't know. Now listen, what do you mean? You've got two puncture wounds in the skin on your throat, and you're trying to tell a doctor you don't know anything about how they got there? I want to know the circumstances under which you received these wounds. They seem very precise. I'm absolutely certain they weren't there when I examined you earlier tonight. No, they weren't there. I can assure you of that. Well, then she must have gotten them in the cemetery or on the way. Hope they're not infected. I better get something on those. No! Left alone. They've got to be left alone. Mm -hmm.